Yo, what's up guys? This video, we're gonna do a really simple video on the abstract keyword. Should be pretty easy. Hopefully I don't make it too complicated. <laughs> I'll try to keep it simple. So hopefully you guys are excited. Let's get started. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So first thing, what does abstract mean? And I'll try to not make this explanation too conceptual, but basically when something cannot exist directly, it's said to be abstract. So in this situation, we have this student class that derives from user. If we want to prevent people from creating users directly, but instead they need to make a student or another derived class, such as a teacher or whatever it might be, then we can go and use the abstract keyword for this user class. So going over to this user class, all I have to do is say public abstract. Now let's take a look at if we tried to use this class over in our program.cs, we're creating a new student, but what if instead of saying new student, we said new user, we're gonna get an error. You see here it says cannot create an instance of an abstract class. So that is how you can prevent someone from instantiating a class. You just label it as abstract. So that is your introduction to the abstract keyword. Thank you guys for watching. And just thought I'd try to keep it simple. That's how you use it. That's how it works. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.